It was Balanchine that said that if you have a man and a woman together on stage, you already have a story. And I think what he was saying is there's, there's enough there, and we have enough there in a part of the to tell the story without needing to have a necessarily a narrative, the stories within the movement. A certain imagery that Balanchine used um, for the apportionment of the head is not just to tilt the head to the side, but to have a pink cloud on this side and then someone kissing you on this cheek. So it gives that feeling <laughs> of energy. <laughs> In the second movement, there's an element of risk-taking in the step where the lady is supported and then he lets go of her waist and she lifts up to fall back. So she has to completely trust him to do that fall back, but it's quite calculated. He knows exactly what he's doing. So the two of them have to work together to figure out exactly when she's gonna land in his arms. In classical ballet, we're normally right on our legs, but in Balanchine's fourth movement step, he takes the ladies and has them dancing off balance and extremely rhythmically with a slightly jazzy rhythm. Balanchine had the vision of a director. Of course, he worked in Hollywood. You can see that influence of one person starting a movement and then another and a huge buildup to the end where suddenly everybody finishes together.